What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will show you how to change crosshair in Marvel Rivals. And also, as always, if you want to know what equipment I'm using to make this video, I will leave links to those in the description below. So, let's get started. So, how do we change our crosshair here? So, first things first is we need to access our settings. So, at the top right of your screen, you should be able to see this gear icon. Go ahead and click on it and you want to go to settings. Now, in here, what we need to do is we need to go to controller. So, it's not in display, it's going to be in controller. And you want to go to combat. Now, under combat, it's not going to be named as crosshair. It's going to be something different. It's going to be reticle safe. So in here, you can change a few things. So first, if by the way, if you have a like a code that you want to use to say uh, use a reticle from someone, you could go and click on import save here and just input the reticle code here and you you should be able to copy the reticle code or copy the reticles. Now, in this case, you could also choose the saves that is available right now on your PC or in your game here. And if you want to change your reticle type here, so by default, it's going to be default here, but you can change this to either crosshair, as you can see right now. You can even go to advanced here, which allows you to change a few things, like you can change the width, the reticle animation, if you want to enable that. We also have the outline width, outline capacity, details, blur on it, if you want. So for example, let's go ahead and expand the details for this one, and you can change the dot width, crosshair width, here so a lot of those are good things you could change but yeah so in this case you could go ahead and choose the detail as well here so you expand that crosshair radius here uh, circle radius if you choose the circle one and also you can change the color for this one like for example let's go and choose yellow as a uh, vertical color but once you're done with any of the custom measures uh, that you want to apply here you can go ahead and uh, use this one and you want to go ahead and click on save as new and let's just say it is going to be our yellow all purpose so it's just an, a, a, a something that came up here any name would do let's go and click on confirm and as you can see, we have our crosshair now. Now, you could go ahead and rename this. You can even export this save. And you could go ahead and just uh, copy this one and share this to your friends if they uh, ask for your crosshair. And also, you can change heroes here, by the way. You can choose a specific hero here if you want to customize the crosshair for that specific hero. But yeah, you do the same thing here. It's pretty much the same. But if you want to save and you want to click on save as new, and if you're currently accessing this one and you're, you want to change it, you can go and click on save to uh, update it. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like or maybe subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.